On the grid, draw a graph of y is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2 for all the values of x from minus 3 to 2. By drawing a suitable line, use your graph to solve the equation x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Right, okay, so we've got, this is my function. So making some sort of table, so we've got x here, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. And then uh, down the side here, putting x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2. This is just the working out, these are the coordinates. So minus 3 cubed is minus 27. Minus 2 cubed is minus 8. Remember the negative, because minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. Times minus 2 again makes minus 8. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1. 0 cubed is 0. 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed is 8. Then minus 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Minus 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 squared is nothing. 0 times 2 is nothing. And these again will be 2 and 8. All this row here will be minus 2. Because we've got to look at minus 2 from everything. And then what we do is we add each column. So minus 27, 18 minus 2 gives minus 11. This one will give me minus 2. This will give me minus 1. 0, 0 minus 2 will give me minus 2. 1, 2 minus 2 give me 1. 8 and 8 minus 2 will give me 14. Therefore we plot minus 3 minus 11. Minus 2 minus 2. Minus 1 minus 1. 0 minus 2. 1, 1. And 2, 14. Okay, we were given the grid. So we just plot the points, so to take careful note of the values on the axis. So we've got to plot minus 3, minus 11. So minus 11 will be halfway between 10 and 12, so it'll be there. There, sorry. And then uh, minus 2, minus 2 will be there. And then minus 1, minus 1 will be halfway between the two. So accurate plotting is required. 0 minus 2 is there. 1, 1 will be there. And then 2, 14 will be here. Right, it would be possible to sort of draw a curve like that. But if we were to use the table function on our calculator, so we should know how to do this, but and make the step 0 0.5, and then what we would get is all these intermediate points here. You can see they're just occurring here in green. And that might make it easier to draw the curve, okay? And you could use the calculator function to get these as well, all right? Right, so drawing a nice smooth curve with a pencil, and it must be a smooth curve, and then write down the name of the function at one end. That will get you the full marks. But emphasis drawing with a pencil and making the curve as smooth as possible. And this is why using the calculator function, which steps to 0 0.5, will make for a better curve. Because in fact here, it actually goes slightly higher than minus 1. Right. To solve, we had to solve this equation. x squared plus 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. But we've got the curve x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2. Well, in order to make that minus 2, I will need to take minus 1 from both sides. If I take minus 1 from this, this side, this will become minus 2. And then if I do 0 minus 1, I've got minus 1. So I drew the curve x squared plus 2x squared minus 2 is equal to y. So I need to draw, the extra line I need to draw on will be y is equal to minus 1. The line y is equal to minus 1 will be go through here. So draw the line and label it y is equal to minus 1. And then to solve the equation, I need to find where this intersects with the curve. So that's going to intersect there. So it's going to be about minus 1.6. Here at minus 1, I should get that one exactly, minus 1. And here again, 
sorry, here again at 0 0.6. So the three orange ones here are where it's intersect. So you should show clearly how you got your answer on your graph. And then we have that x is equal to minus 1.6, minus 1, or 0 0.6 from the graph, okay? The important thing is you show how you got your answer. And so drawing straight lines, make sure you draw it with a pencil and a ruler. There should be no ink on your graph. It should be drawn with a pencil. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to use, draw a cubic graph and then use it to solve an equation. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.